Okay, hi, uh, my name is Andrew, and I'm going to talk about BIM stuff. Uh, to be more specific, I want to push one particular big idea, and that is uh, when writing BIM Ruby, uh, Ruby uh, code, you should just use all my plugins because they're pretty good. Um, to start off, uh, I'm going to start with a plugin called Sideways. Sideways lets you move uh, function arguments around, move list arguments around, um, you know, takes care of like uh, multi line stuff, and it also gives you a text object to say delete an argument like this, or um, change, like uh, change an inner argument to, uh, to like a separate variable, extract it, whatever. And it works for hashes as well, uh, but for this particular hash, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot easier if I just split it up like this, and just sort of turn it into multiple lines. Uh, this makes it a lot easier to reorder. And it happens because of my split join plugin that lets you split uh, all sorts of stuff, like strings into here docs, uh, and then you know, join them back into a string. Uh, lets you split modules, so you know, it helps with organization a bit. Um, it lets you, yeah, okay, whatever. It lets you split if clauses, do some debugging, whatever, you know, merge it back. And it also works for blocks. Uh, for this particular block, it's gonna, it's gonna do something slightly different. It's gonna merge into a, uh, you know, like a symbol sort of form, uh, which kind of surprised me when I was preparing for this talk because I'd forgotten I implemented this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's nice. I like it, uh, I guess. Uh, you can probably turn it off for the setting, probably. Um, but, you know, regardless if you want to turn it off or not, there's a switch plugin that lets you just sort of, you know, switch between these kind of forms, uh, switch between true and false, or, uh, you know, the different hash formats. Basically, like, a switch is like a repository of useful substitution patterns. Um, and these are the, the S plugins, split join sideways and switch that let you work with the style and shape of your code and they're, they're pretty good. Um, but uh, I, I, don't want, I don't want to talk just about Ruby. You know, I want to go deeper. I want to go into embedded Ruby. Okay. Now if you don't know what embedded Ruby is, it's kind of like Hamel, but it's greater than Hamel. Um, probably because of all the greater signs, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I, I really like all these signs. I re they're, they're something very webby about them, you know? Uh, something warm and fuzzy, like, um, like a pair of socks. But, but I'm not here to sell you footwear. I'm here to sell you Vim plugins. And the next Vim plugin I'm gonna show you has to do with embedded Ruby. And now you can still do all the, you know, you can still split and join stuff. Um, you can still um, switch formats around. And you can still side weigh the, weigh the side, well, you know, you can do it sideways. Um, but there is this problem of closing tags. This is one thing that Hamel, you know, does kind of better. It doesn't have any closing tags. Now, I like closing tags. They're, they're really nice. But what happens when you change this div into an article, uh, or this div, you know, div into a nav, or this into a, like a list? You can change this into a list. What happens with the closing tags? Well, as it turns out, they get changed uh, alongside these opening tags. So I can change this one into a diff again, exit insert mode, and look at that. It's like magic, but it's not magic. It is tag along. A name, uh, like a, a plugin whose name uh, Tim Pope called really good. Uh, now, as, as you can see, Tim Pope endorses the name of my plugin. It's a clear endorsement from D. Pope himself. Um, so, you know, in conclusion, uh, you know, go to GitHub. That, that's, that's me, Andrew Radev. Uh, find my Vim stuff. I'm, I'm sure you'll find it. It's, it's pretty easy to find, uh, and just, just use all of it. Thank you. Thank you for your time.